the line. So. Good afternoon everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, it's Thursday afternoon, so here we are, we've managed to make it through to the afternoon. Um, so guys, um, I went down to, my, to the post box, okay, and my mum must have sent me a letter because there was a letter from my mum in the post box, and my earrings, <coughs> excuse me, my earrings from Amazon. So, parcel for Genestra. Genestra. And here are my earrings. I thought they were coming yesterday, but they've come today, so. <coughs> Open them. These are. <coughs> Oh, uh, these are called um, Sterling Silver Sky Sterling Silver Sky Sky coloured earrings And they're Sterling Silver So I got my earrings From Amazon um, And £50 from my mum. £50, two £20 notes and a £10 note and I've spent £20 in the co-op just to get some extra food for Harry and some cleaning stuff. There's no nothing on the back of the envelope I do not know how this letter actually got here because my mum's missed some of the address off. That's unlike my mother. She's missed some of the address off. But two first class, uh, a first and a second class stamp with the Queen's head on, and she's missed part of the address off. That is unlike my mum. So this was written at, this is why it was, this was sent out Tuesday, but my mum's put second class stamp on it. So 11.38, Dear Janestra, I was very unhappy and so sorry for all the troubles that you say you, Janestra, are having. I do so hope that things get better for you, Janestra. Enclosed £50. Thank you, Janestra, for telephoning me. I will also, as usual, keep in touch by letter and your and your mother's landline telephone lots of love and kind thoughts from mum so it's, you know I've, I've gone through a couple of bad things and i've lost something as well which is upsetting so i'm putting a brave uh, face on things and i'm smiling uh, because otherwise, once 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 you get down in the dumps, it's very hard to get back up again. So, so normally I wouldn't go out. Normally, normally I wouldn't go out to the co-op. Uh, normally I wouldn't go out to the co-op after my mum uh, sent me money, but um, I had I forgot to to get coffee. And I love a cup of coffee first thing in the morning, and I forgot to order the coffee. So we have got two boxes of Nescafe caramel latte. Two boxes of that. We have got two bounty bars. I do like the chocolate. And we've got some Domestos Power Foam Toilet and Bathroom Cleaner. Um, I like to try new things. It says this sprays upside down. So this sprays when it's upside down. I'm obviously not going to try it now. Maybe when I show you it, uh, when I'm cleaning out the lavatory later on. That If this sprays upside down. <laughs> So Domestos, power foam, toilet and bathroom, 
citrus blast. It kills germs in hardest to reach places. So we've got some toilet cleaner. And this is for Harry. Whiskers Duo. Surf and Turf. This was a pound. Rubicon Spring Orange Mango Drink. And we've just picked up some Yuzu's. So just a couple of chocolate bars and um, my Yuzu drinks, chocolate, a strawberry and banana. And obviously the plastic bags. That was expensive. Just that bit was expensive. <laughs> And we got a double star chaser chocolate caramel popcorn flavoured magnum. So, I'll tell you why that I don't usually go out after my mum sends me money. I usually go in the morning afterwards and I don't need to go out tomorrow morning. Um, the reason is that there's usually shenanigans street theatre street theatre there usually is some antics involved whenever I go outside so I walked up the road dressed like this my father Derek is dead he's long dead he's three years dead so there's three people sat on the stone bench and one of them looks like my father Derek with a baseball cap on and there's another man with long hair as well and so there was, I think there was a woman in between. So three people sat on the bench and this guy comes out in a, in a shirt and his shorts and he's got his, uh, his brown hair, a young lad. He's going, when are we going to meet up then? When are we going to meet up then? And uh, he's laughing with his bright white teeth coming out the co-op and he goes back in the co-op and he goes past me and you know <laughs> I don't know why people do these things because I'm quite happy on my own and you just I do, you have to let people do what they've got to do push into you get in your way be a nuisance before I'd gone into the co-op one of the blokes I turned round because one of the blokes went Hello. One of the blokes sat down on the stone bench and went, Hello. And I turned around and, it, well, I don't know who he was talking to, but it certainly wasn't me. Um, I, I just went around the co op. Um, it sort of distracts me from what I'm trying to buy, really. Um, so I just, um, I've got my basket, I'm getting my bits and pieces. And I want to use the self-service checkout, but someone goes to the self-service checkout and it's, it, it fucks up and she has to get served at the counter. So I have to take my shopping to the counter when I want to use the self-service checkout. But never mind, I got some scratch cards. <laughs> Had I not been served at the desk, I wouldn't have got scratch cards. I would have saved myself six quid. Um... Things are bloody expensive, that's all I can say. That cost three pounds, that did. that Just for that toilet cleaner, three quid. Um, so this young lad served me. This young guy served me and I, he put my stuff in a bag, very polite, very nice. Came out of the shop and the usual, you've got people smoking. Not weed, just smoking. And I just, I've just walked back home. And I, I have to keep smiling. I have to keep myself happy. Because once you get to the point where you, you're you going to snap, you know what I mean? And I got to that point when it was going on next door, I snapped. And I don't want to do that because I'm not a nasty person. So I have to keep cheering myself up and seeing the funny side of things. Do you know what I mean? 
I have to cheer myself up and make myself happy, otherwise you'll snap. And that's not you, that's them and their the theatrics making you angry. Do you see where I'm coming from? So I've, I've, taped, I've taped enough of it and I've shown, shown you what these actors drive me beyond despair. They drive me to, to, to madness sometimes. I get really cross and upset because I want to live in the real world. I want to meet real people. I'd like to have a real partner, a real relationship. And I can't because I'm stuck in this. It's like a fantasy world, but it's dangerous. I mean, the things people are doing, they're endangering my life and they're endangering other people's. And it's... It's not funny. This morning really upset me and I had to stand there and just say to myself, Crystal, it's their theatrics. They're mad. Just walk past it. And that's what I did. You see, that guy next door, right, he swore at his dog. He went, fuck off. Fucking move. Right, so somebody said move in the co-op. Some bloke in the co-op just went uh, move, move. Not fucking move, he went move. Now I'm tired of it, that's over and done with. I'll move in my own good time and when I'm ready. And if you don't like me, you move. It's as simple as that. And I'm tired of it, I'm tired of that. <laughs> so you can see the their little scenarios, their, their theatre, their street, street theatre, where they try and make you cross, you, you rise to the bait, you lose your temper, and you look the villain. So now I smile and I laugh, and I, I stand right back, and I just, you just let them do it. Let them do it. There's cameras in the co-op, just let them do it. Anyway, that's enough of that. I've got the Daily Mail today as well, which I can read. And it says, the motorists face fuel hike under Starmer's squeeze. Uh, drivers have been warned to brace for a multi-billion pound fuel duty raid. Labour refused to rule out using motorists to balance the books yesterday as it appeared to rail back on its pledge not to hike taxes for working people. The mind-boggling facts behind Spencer's record-breaking 30 desert marathons in 30 days. So, we know that Diana, when she was Prince of White Wales, Princess of Wales, was, her surname was Spencer. Diana, Prince of Wales, so her name was, she was Diana Spencer. <laughs> Prison teacher accused of having month-long fling with Zara's killer. Nice big large woman with a double chin. Usually when I go in the co-op, they hide the newspapers. They put something over the newspapers, a trolley or something in front of the newspapers. But um, I've dyed my fringe blue. So if they want to copy my hairstyle and put them on ugly women that have committed crimes, well, they could splash their hair with blue, can't they? Right, guys, I'm going to get on with my day. Um, not too bad. It's not been too bad today. I was served politely. Um, and, y you know, they're going to take the piss whether I like it or not. So why shouldn't I? I'll just laugh at it. See you later.